You know, if you were in like a pride parade or something like that, it gives you a little bit of something without being too much or being too over the top, which is there any such thing as being over the top? Nah, child, you know what I'm saying. Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. So today we have another wig from Zuri. And you know, this is a new wig. I haven't got a wig from them in a long time. So the wig that we have is going to be this rubber band style wig and it's gonna be Diva Lace H Cause and I have it in tie-dye parade. So look at the rubber bands and look at the parting area on this. It is a 13 by five. So like I said, I haven't gotten a wig from them in a long time. I saw this, saw it was new and decided to pick it up. Look at those pretty colors. Yes, I'm loving this for Pride Month. Look at the pinks the reds that blue color is everything and then we have some green in there so like i said this is going to be a 13 by um five and you do get plenty of parting area the style already comes pre-styled you also get baby hairs in the front for those that like the baby hairs now the lace on this is light the lace is light you're going to have to you know go in and spray that lace or do something to that lace what i love about this most you guys is the neatness of this parting area the parting area is super 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 neat i mean look at that i want you guys to get all the details on it is super neat um i didn't take it out and i won't looks like the crimp that's in here as you can see after they like took the rubber bands and put it on there and did them single then they crimped it and made it like have this deep wave type crimp and they push that into the bottom of the hair the tips on this is really nice like i said it flows really nice it's really really a nice a wig it's super cute definitely something different for the channel so this is going to be the band that's in here guess what you guys it's adjustable yay we actually got a functional band thank you so much zuri sis so you get to you get you two adjustable straps you do get your combs and you do get two combs on the side just like a normal and like the combs are about that parting area so I'm gonna go ahead on and I'm going to tint this lace I did put a little bit of lace spray on here that's gonna be my Evelyn or Evelyn New York spray and then I put it on I'm gonna tell you guys right away I did not do like my normal where I'm like taking this wig and I am spraying it down and I am laying it to the gods. I just put this wig on and I played with it a little bit. If you guys want to, you know, go in and make it look extra, extra good, you know, go ahead on and put that in. This is pretty much a show and tell. So I went in and cut the lace off of it. Um, and I, at first when I cut the lace off of this, I was like, let me put on um, one of my caps. But when I put on a cap with it, I didn't like it. Which is usually the case with these 13 by 5s and 13 by 4s. I don't like the caps under them. So I ended up taking the cap off. I'm not sure if I show you guys that. And then I just, you know, put it right on top of my hair because my hair was pushed back. And so once I did that, I think the wig came together a little bit more. So after I got all the lace off of it and everything, I just clipped it back. Now, like I said, I didn't glue this down. I just played with the baby hairs in the front. And I'm going to tell you, I had a hard time dealing with these baby hairs on this wig. Um, I didn't show it here, like I said, I don't think. But I ended up taking the wig off right here and then taking that cap off and then going ahead and just um, putting the wig down without that cap on because it was just too thick. So I'm going in. I put some mousse on this and then I came in with some gel and it still didn't act right. Eventually, obviously I got the baby hairs that kind of act right I did have to cut some out if I was to wear this I would cut even more of these baby hairs out because you know they just weren't working especially the ones in the front you don't really need them once you get you know your makeup on there and you get it blended real good in the front I just need them on the sides because y'all know my sides come out other than that you don't necessarily need them all in all I think the wig is cute I think she's unique and I like that they're coming up with like different designs for us to play with I did go through as you guys can see and put some powder in the parts so let's go ahead on and get into some pros and some cons you guys okay you guys so welcome back to the channel i know it's been like a week or so since i have filmed so i definitely want to come back to you guys with something new so this is the first time i have gotten a wig from zuri in a long time i used to love zuri sis so 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 much but since Altre came in, ooh child, we just been on Altre, right? So today's wig does come to us from Zuri, and it is from their Diva line, which I used to love. This one here is going to be called, it's like a rubber band style wig. The name of it, I'm going to try to pronounce it, is Diva Lace H Cos. I don't know. I don't know where they got that from. That's the name of it. So it's rubber band style. You do get 13 um, 13 by 5, so 13 this way, 
five inches that way of parting area um it does have waves you get baby hairs you get all that stuff on this wig and she's super super cute um when i saw her i she had that she comes in three different styles are they so i want to cut in just to show you guys the other two styles since i don't have them the first style is going to be riri and this one here is going to be a body wave and then you're also going to get that rubber band pattern up to the top it comes with baby hairs and it is a 13 by 5 as well the next one is going to be h gal and her this one here is going to be more like a body wave but it's curly as well this is going to be a close up of the rubber band pattern that you get it's about five braids and then they're going to go back into little squares and they'll have rubber bands on them hd lace and it does have that elastic band as i mentioned the styles that they have i decided to get this one because i like waves and i thought that it would look really good and easy like as a summer style of throw and go also if you want to throw a hat on it'd be nice and flat up here you could throw a hat on and then you have the hair hanging so the color that i have it in is going to be tie-dye parade and i thought it would be great to celebrate um pride month we are almost at the end of pride month so yay um so we're celebrating that this month so i thought that this color would be really really pretty you know if you had, were in like a pride parade or something like that it gives you a little bit of something without being too much or being too over the top which is there any such thing as being over the top nah child you know what i'm saying so at any rate it gives you just a peekable color if you're scared of color but you want to celebrate pride month you get some green in here this looks like some teal um, and then you get this like pink color in here and I think it's really pretty I'm glad that they only gave us just a little bit of it because it's just enough just enough to make the wig So I love the cap construction on this getting into some pros and some cons you guys So getting into pros really quick because I don't really have many cons But I do have maybe two so pros with this one is going to be the parting area is nice The lace does come light, but you can go in and spray it like I did and then I went around the hairline I just put a little bit of my makeup and kind of blended it in. Next thing with this, I didn't really have to glue this down. <laughs> yes, no gluing it down. They give you this strap in here. The strap is adjustable. I took that strap and I just made it fit my head. After I put the wig on, I went ahead on and I adjusted it. You get combs in for those who like their combs. I didn't use them. My sides are flapping in the wind. I'm good with that because you can't really tell because as you guys can see, my next thing is going to be they give you plenty of hair up here so you can lay it down and it just looks really seamless. So you don't even see it. So this is going to be a great throw and go but yeah it's a little bit of a style to kind of mix it up a little bit and of course if you want to get that lace to melt 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 obviously you can get it to melt 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 now you can pull these up in a ponytail i am going to do that if you guys are not following me over on my instagram what you doing what you doing with your life go ahead and follow me over there because a lot of times i post pictures and things like that before i even you know make a video sometimes so you can kind of be like hmm what wig is coming out and get the tea before it's all gone you know what i'm saying so anyway i love the waves i love the curl pattern or what deep wave pattern on this cap construction on this i love it's big hair friendly if you got a dome shaped head like me girl it's all good because i'm i'm part of the big head community so yeah it's all good braids aren't even down that flat only two cons that i have with this is going to be one the lace is screen door ish i'm going to get up so you can kind of see it in my personal opinion it's screen door ish and like i said you can go in and really get this down really, really good. Go ahead and blend it in really well. The next thing is going to be the hair that's on here. This hair is not as textured as I like. Um, it's more of a silky-ish type hair. So I feel like if you keep running your hands through it, you're definitely going to lose the wave. So what I ended up doing was um, putting a little bit of oil, y'all know my trick, on my hands and going through it underneath um, so it won't tangle so bad. And then that way I could keep that wave that comes with it. Um, I like that. So those are the only two things that I have I feel like the tips on this is great it's natural tips as you guys can see looks really pretty and so if you want to take it out this style in the future you would definitely be able to wear this wig you know a different way probably once the curls are all blown out in it, it would look really nice and it would just look like you had like some crimps in it so all in all I love her I think she's cute you guys tell me what you think if I haven't given you a 360 I'm gonna do that right now so this is going to be all the hair to the front it's all for, and as I said, see down bottom where it's already starting to like frizz a little bit down here. Generally, I'll go in, spray a little bit of oil on my hands and just rub those tips. You can put product on it as well. You can go in and you can put you some, um, what they call it? You can put you some mousse on there or any kind of like spray on there. I just always use oil because I just feel like that way it's a light product and it's underneath. So it's not going to make it like too greasy or whatever. But this is the front all the hair to the front it's a great density they did a great job on this wig you guys like look at that 
I love it. I love it. Right there. This is the back. So I can see. Yes. So. And I want to try it on with a hat. Yes. Look at that with a hat on. Y'all. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, ma'am. Yes. It's cute with a hat. It gives you a little something in the front. You got your hat. It's summertime, child. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So that's the hat. So as I mentioned, I did pull this up in a couple different styles. Thank you guys so much for catching the video today. I appreciate it. If you decide to share this video or any of my videos, you guys know, don't forget to tag me in it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.